Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today we're discussing the Microsoft error that appears with KB5034765 update and that's the error code 0x800F0922. So if you're one of those users that encounters this error when trying to update, here's what you can do. The first solution is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, afterwards click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now in here click on Other Troubleshooters, and the last thing you can do is click on the Run button next to Windows Update. Now Windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Then you can just close this window, restart your computer and try to update once again. Moving on, you can also try to fix this issue with the good old SFC and DISM scans. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, simply copy-paste the following commands that I posted in the description below and make sure to press enter after each command and take your time, because the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great fix is to check the .NET Framework option. So to do this, press the Windows button, then type in Windows Features and select Turn Windows Features on or off from the search results. Now what you have to do is check all the .NET Framework options in here and make sure that the boxes next to them are ticked in, just like this. Then press on OK, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update service. To do so, press the Windows button, type in Services and then select it from the system as a search result. Now in here, make sure to scroll down until you find Windows Update and then right click on it and select the Restart option. Further, you can double click on this service and make sure that the startup type is set to Automatic and then you can stop the service and start it once again, click on Apply and OK to save the changes and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, you can also remove all your temporary files. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Run and select it from the search results. Now in here, type in the following command. Press on OK and from here on, select all the temporary files and Shift delete them as soon as possible. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.